Hey everybody, David here, and on today's episode of Firecast, we're gonna be going over React and Firebase. And just as a reminder, this is just one episode on an entire playlist of Firebase in the web. So make sure to subscribe if you want to keep up to date. But today we're gonna to be using the create React app command line tool to freshly start a brand new React app and then include Firebase. So let's get started. So to get started with Firebase and React, I'm gonna use the create React app command line tool. And this tool is created by members of the React team. And it's seriously one of the easiest, if not the easiest way I've ever gotten up and running with React. Because all you have to do is install the module globally, and then it's just one command to kick off a new app. So let's go to the command line and type npm install dash g create react app. So I already have this module installed on my machine, so I'm gonna skip this step. But once you're done, all you have to do is type create react app and then the name of your project. So I'm calling mine Firebase React Starter, but obviously you can use whatever name you want. And once you're done, you hit enter. And it's gonna tell you that it's installing packages and that this might take a couple of minutes. And in my experience, yeah, this could take a bit, so get comfortable. All right, it's all installed now. So all you have to do is CD into the project it created. So this project gets generated with a local development server that has hot reloading enabled by default. So to kick that off, all you have to do is type npm start. So this will kick you out to your default browser at port 3000 and give us this default page with this React spinning logo that I'm just gonna stare at. And we're back. Okay, now that that's done, let's install Firebase. So I'm gonna go back to the terminal and rather than killing my local server, I'm actually just going to open up a new tab and install Firebase. So to install Firebase, I'm gonna do npm install Firebase dash dash save. And once that's done, I'm gonna open up my editor. So as a web developer, your first instinct might be to open up index.html. And here, you're gonna look for script files. So where is the React library? And you might notice that it's nowhere to be found on this page. And that's because this project setup uses module bundling with Webpack. So if you go out to the browser, you can see that there actually is a script tag that gets injected during the build process. And this script is called bundle.js because it's all of your code bundled into one file. And that is done through the magic of Webpack. And if you wanna learn more about Webpack, I have a link to the project in the description. So when you're using Webpack projects, one file is the entry point. And it is usually either the index.js or the main.js file. So we're gonna click here into index.js and you can see that it has some syntax that some of you might not be familiar with. And that's this import from syntax. So a lot of you are probably familiar with using the window to attach objects to. So in ES 2015 land, using the window isn't the preferred way. What's preferred is that you actually import from these files rather than just pulling them off this global window object. So you might be wondering, how does this app know where these files live? Because these aren't like file paths or anything. And that is also what Webpack does for you underneath the hood. So Webpack will take all of these import statements and it will bundle them into one file. So anything imported will be bundled. So what that means is if we go and import star as Firebase from Firebase, it will automatically be included into our bundled JavaScript file. So with Firebase imported, all we have to do is type firebase.initializeapp and then provide our config, which you can get from the Firebase console. And at this point, you are 100,000% ready to get started with your React and Firebase app. So as you can see, using the create react app command line tool makes it really easy to get started. 
And that's all for this tutorial. But if you wanna learn more, make sure you stay tuned because we're gonna be doing another Firebase and React screencast that actually builds upon this one. And it's gonna show you how React state management works perfectly with the Firebase database's real-time data synchronization. So that's all for this episode. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.